Hi, I'm Ray. This is Gardening Online. Today I'm at the allotment and we're going to have a look at a Wilco's Gardening Arch. This is for climbing plants and roses. 2.4 metres tall, durable coated steel tubing, quick and easy to assemble. Instructions inside. So it's 2.40 centimetres high, 3.39 centimetres wide and 140 centimetres deep approximately. Create a stunning display. So attractive and functional. So let's have a look and see how easy it is to make. So this is what we're going to build today and we're going to see how easy it is to make. First of all, we need to get into the box. So this is what we're going to build today and it's a garden arch. It's got many, many poles, many, many poles. A few curved ones. Lots of poles. Oh my word, this is not going to be a, an easy task. But well, we've got some instructions. Which I thought was going to be a five minute job. Might not be so easy. So here we go. Right, so I've laid it all out now and it's a bit easier to see. So we've got eight curved pipes. We've got 11 of these, this is the cross member pipes and they've got a thread on each end, which a bolt will screw in. We've got two holes with a chamfered end but without holes. We've got 12 of these pipes with holes both end and a chamfered end and then two pipes without a chamfered bit but with just holes. So that's all the equipment that we need. So let's start building. So first of all we take B, and then we take one of these, we line the two together, line the holes up together, we take our bolt, Put it through the hole and then we can screw on the first cross member. Just like so. Then we can take the second one. With another upright. Do the same process, line the holes up, we take our bolt, pull it through and then when instead of twisting this we have to screw this. And there we go, we also first start in the 
shape of our arch. So we've got one, two, three, four uprights before the arch, and three straight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. One, two. One, two, three, four. Four straight ones and then the curves. So we're going to continue following this along. And probably better to lie it down doing it rather than standing it up. Lining up the holes. And then putting in the bolt lines up to be pretty lined up. We've got to go in on an outward turn. So it needs a bit of wiggling to get the thread in. That's it. Straightforward then. So we do need a cross head screwdriver as it helps to tighten these up. This one you can tighten in. The second one you can't twist it. So you need a screwdriver to do that process. So two down. A few more to go. So now we're just using the drill it does make it a lot easier securing them in. So now we've done the first rung, four high. And now we can start using the curves, doing the same procedure, lining them up, bolting. Holes have to be lined up perfectly. Otherwise the bolts just don't go in very easy. Checking So I'm going to stop at this stage and we're going to start on the other side. So I'm doing the second up right now. I thought it would be a bit easier to do that one first. And we're plowing on through this now. 
So we've now used all of the straight ones coming up. So we've got four, four straight up, and then we go on to the curves. So that using the drill speeded it up a lot. You do have to line it up properly, otherwise it won't go in. So it's looking good now, and now we've just got the final curves, but we do need to get these right. Have taken shape. We've just got the final top. I'm trying to line up these curves so they're the same. So that's fine. So we've just got the last few bits to do. And it's been pretty straightforward. Once you've got the first one in, it's been quite easy. Lining them up, one of the most difficult things. Using a drill has really spread it up quite well. So we now have our arch and it's all made up. Now I'm going to move this into the polytunnel where it's going to be my pumpkin arch. It took a little while, had to move a few things around, but we got there in the end. It's quite wide, but it would do. So let's move it. I have to go for the door. There we go. It's probably easier to build this where you actually want it. So this is where we're going to have our arch and the pumpkins are whomping away. So I'm going to put this here and we can grow it over. I need to get about central and what I will do is get another arch and we can do two together and that'd be great. These arches are also good for one of beans and I have to convert it next year for the one of beans but here we go my sub arch might need slightly adjusting it's pretty hot in there now
How's that look? Sancho? It's not that bad, is it? So now the intentions is to get the pumpkins and they're going to grow up through the arch and give us some space on the bottom here. So that's going to be great. So I'm just going to tease these to go up and around. I might need to secure that one so it stays there. So that's going to look great. Absolutely great. Around the arch. I'm just going to get a couple of cable ties and we're just going to secure the pumpkin so it can come round the frame. Not going to do it too tight so it can catch on and it can grow around. So it's mostly hot in this polytunnel now. I'm going to get out of it because it's too hot. So thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Get notifications when I post some more. But I'm pretty pleased about my arch. Looking forward to watching the pumpkins grow around it. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Cheers.